In today's video, I want to take you guys through the new games that are being added to PlayStation Now. Quite a few games are being added. I uh, have a couple of things to talk about as far as PlayStation Now is concerned. Some things that I think Sony could do better as far as offering games uh, as a service. So we'll talk that in just a second. Also, a couple of good PS4 game deals. Uh, seems like these are still running as I had expected. A lot of these uh, e-tailers and retailers as well are going to be running these deals until probably... The end of the year and probably early next year as well. You guys know how the world is right now, uh, so that is to be expected. Okay, PlayStation Now update for December. Let's quickly go through the games. Horizon Zero Dawn is being added. Of course, if you've never played Horizon Zero Dawn, that is definitely a good one to check out. Stranded Deep, you got Broforce, Wreckfest, Drive Hard. I believe that's for six months. Yeah, so that'll be available for just about six months. The Surge 2, Darksiders 3, and uh, that's it. That's all that's being added, but some pretty notable titles. Darksiders 3, Surge 2... All that's pretty cool. The issue with this, and I found this to be an issue when Microsoft really went hard at Xbox Game Pass, is that now we're just getting so much crossover between the different services that Sony has, whether it be the instant game collection that Sony is offering to PlayStation 5 owners, whether it be... You know, PlayStation Plus titles. Darksiders 3 was a PlayStation Plus title not too, too long ago. And now you're just seeing so much crossover that it is really mitigating the value of these services. I think you just need to combine everything into one and just offer it uh, as one giant subscription service. It really does seem like Microsoft is going down that route as they do have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. They're throwing in Xbox Gold, Game Pass on PC, Game Pass on Xbox One. And I think that is just a more suitable way of doing things. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah, I just am constantly noticing a little bit of crossover between all the services. And uh, thankfully, recently, the PlayStation Plus games have been all uh, very unique and not from other services. But what I fear is that these PlayStation Plus games that we're getting months later, they're going to be added to either the Instant Game Collection or either they're going to be the games added as PlayStation Now and you constantly see this crossover. I'd like to see Sony do something that offers you PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now, maybe at a discounted price. I think that could do us some real good. I do know that Sony is working in different ways to, you know, kind of up their subscription service game. There was an interview uh, that was conducted, and it seems like they have something under their sleeves and they're working on something, and they've definitely taken note of why Game Pass is such a compelling value. I'm not saying you can go the route of offering every exclusive for $10 a month. I know for Sony, their business model really doesn't allow for that because their exclusives are so top tier because they do sell so well, but it'll be interesting if that notion does change when Microsoft, you would have to think in a year, two years, games like Fable 4, games like Avowed, the as the titles all come out and their Xbox Game Pass titles, is that going to change the thinking of Sony? I am really interested in that, and that's a bridge we'll cross probably two to three years from now, because right now Microsoft's exclusive lineup is really lacking, and maybe I'm giving them a lot of credit in thinking that these exclusives are going to be really good, Fable 4, Avowed, the Bethesda titles that will eventually come out, but you'd have to think that they would be relatively marquee titles. Still, a pretty decent lineup of games that are coming to PS Plus in December. I should say PlayStation Now. Ideally, it would be a PS Plus, PS Now crossover subscription service, but I digress. Okay, couple of deals to hit you guys with. Amazon's got some good deals, most notably Yakuza Like a Dragon. I should say Yakuza. I can't believe I just said Yakuza. Yakuza Like a Dragon Day Ichi Edition is available for $35, so this is is quite a zany Yakuza title. Obviously, the Yakuza team tried to do something different with the game, and most people think that they did a slam dunk job with it, offering you a turn-based RPG more akin to, you know, a traditional RPG, and uh, it's something different from the Yakuza title. Still has that zaniness, that off-the-wall nature that Yakuza uh, has in, you know, the previous games, the comedy, the humor... The wackiness at times, but also the compelling narrative. Uh, $35 for this, I would say, is really good. You're getting a lengthy experience here, and given the fact that this just came out last month, it is less than a month old, guys, and it is already down damn near 50% off. I find it crazy how quickly these guys, games go on sale, but hey, if you've been following this channel, you guys have probably picked up on it too. Some of these games that, if you just wait a couple months, or in this case, three weeks, uh, you're getting these games at pretty good deals, and Yakuza Like a Dragon for $35, I think is a great deal. Just bear in mind, it is going to be a lengthy game, so, you know, you're going to have to invest a little bit of time into it. Marvel's Avengers is down to $25, another one that has rocketed down in price. A lot of people crap all over it. I didn't hate it as much as some other people, but I also got it for free, so it wasn't, you know that big of a deal to me. I could understand if you paid $60 for it, you'd be like, what the hell? At $25? I don't know, dude. 
Ask a couple of friends if they have it, see if they enjoy it, see if they're still playing it, and if you can play it with a couple of buddies, maybe you can have a good time with it. It's just, you know, north of 50% off, less than three months after release, I find a little, a little funny. I have to find it a little funny, but uh, yeah, I remember having a conversation just to go on a tangent for a second. I, uh, I had a conversation with a free, few friends, and we were arguing whether or not Marvel's Avengers, this game, was gonna outsell Marvel's Spider-Man, and their notion in thinking that Avengers was gonna outsell Spider-Man was that they looked at the box office numbers of the Avengers movies and compared it to the Spider-Man movies, and they also added the fact that it was a multi-platform game, and I was like, I wasn't that big into movies and, you know, box office numbers, and I'm just like, you know, on paper, that makes sense. Obviously, that didn't come to fruition, so what do I know about movies and things of that nature and how they correlate? Obviously, game quality paid a played a factor in terms of sales numbers, but yeah, I do know Square Enix invested a lot of capital to get this game out on markets, and they really do need it to succeed, so hopefully it can get better over time. Want to note, EA Sports UFC 4 is down to $25. This is a game that, if you picked up UFC 3, you could probably pass this entirely. If the last one you played was like UFC 1 or maybe UFC 2, UFC 4 I think is a decent pickup. Definitely not worth $60. $25, way more palatable of a pickup. You know, I think this is a pretty good deal, all things considered. But again, if you have UFC 3, no real reason to pick up UFC 4. Career mode uh, lacking a little bit. I really want them to, like, I don't know. They, they, they need to do a fundamental ground-up rework of these games. Uh, I can say that about, you know, a lot of sports games in general, and I know why they're not going to do it. There's no reason to do it just because these games have an audience that are going to buy them no matter what. Uh, so it's not really a big deal. I understand from a you know, revenue standpoint, it doesn't make sense to do a complete revamp and add all this new content when they can just trickle it out over, you know, a little bit of time and have people buy each iteration, but whatever, $25, and they've actually done a good job of updating the game and adding new content. I want to say they just added Hamza Shemaev to the game, so that's pretty notable. I mean, it's not like he's even like that crazy, so they are adding some of the people that are just coming up now, so that's obviously kind of nice. Okay, also, DeBlob2, 2 998 that's pretty good, and uh, Doom Eternal is also 20 bucks still at Amazon, so I want to give that a mention as well, since I think that's a pretty good deal. Do you expect, like, physical game deals to be lasting all year long? Like, Neo 2 is still 10 bucks as well. Uh, these are just some of the ones that I saw right off the top, and I think they're pretty good. Some of them do have delayed shipping. Like, for example, Ghost of Tsushima is $40 still, but it doesn't ship until December 25th, so you won't even get it in time for Christmas by the looks of it, uh, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I think the same can be said for Last of Us Part 2, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but the games I mentioned primarily, they're all in stock. Now, that's going to wrap up this video again. PS Now is getting a couple updates, some new games added, and a lot of great deals still available on Amazon. Go check those out. There was actually better deals available at Target yesterday, unfortunately. Totally missed it. Didn't mention it in a video, so my apologies on that, but trying to keep you guys updated the best I can. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.